Welcome back to Art from Earth. Today I'm going to show you some basic layer management tools in Lightburn. If you don't see the Cuts and Layers tab down here, go up to Window and check Cuts and Layers, and then click on that tab to open it up. I've opened this cut template drawing that has a few elements in there that are on their own layers. Now I can save this as a different file name and it'll keep all these settings and cut parameters for me. If I want to import another drawing, I go up to File, Import, and I'll bring in a drawing that I want to cut. And they'll already be on the layers that I need because I've done that in the other drawing. If I bring in a drawing from a different program, sometimes it'll put them on their own layers and I'll have to bring them down here and change them. I'll just select everything and put it on the outline layer because that's easier than trying to pick some of these individually. Now I'll change the remaining objects to the layers that they need to go on. These will go on the pocketing layer. And this will be on the cutouts layer. If you right click on any of these layers, it'll identify the objects in the drawing. I keep a notes layer in the drawing. And you can gray it out by turning off the output, but I like to keep it dark. And you can also turn off the output or visibility of any of the other layers here. The two tool layers don't have any output, so I keep them on here just to define my material. I'll duplicate what I want to cut using Control D and then move it over into the cutting area. I'll remove what I don't want and then I'll highlight everything and move it into position by grabbing this bottom corner and snapping it to this little spacer block that I keep down on my honeycomb. Now I'll go up to the preview and check my lead in and lead out lines and make sure they're in the right spot. I can see that there's one on the inside of a part here. So I'm going to change these and put them where I want them using the start point tool. And I'll just pick the things that I want to change and then click on these nodes and that'll put the start point at that spot. If something's in a group, you've got to ungroup it before you can change the start points. So there's a couple things here that are grouped and I'll change them. Pick that group and ungroup it and then I can hit the start point tool and change that start point. Then I'll pick this group, ungroup it, change the start point, and then regroup. And I'll regroup this one. I like to keep things grouped if they have cutouts in them. It keeps those things from accidentally getting moved out of position. You can change the order of cut by using these side arrows to move layers up or down in the stack. And it'll cut from the top down. I like to keep the cutout layer at the bottom of the stack. In case it moves slightly when it's cut out, the interior pockets and design won't change. If you want to change the parameters of a cut, just double click the cut layer and you can change the name of it, the speed and the power, number of passes. If you have a z-axis you can have it drop a little bit on each pass if you want and you can turn on or off the lead in and lead out. I like to use the lead in and lead out on cutouts because it lets the machine kind of ramp up to speed. 
Now you're ready to open up the laser tab, frame the material, and cut everything out. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.